Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to another Man 13 online game. Today we got the Redskins and the Giants, battle of division rivals, and battle of two quarterbacks who have number 10. And starting off the game, I dropped the pass, then my opponent dropped the pass, so a drop for a drop. And then on third down, thankfully we come out on top, we get a nice post draft to Akeem Nix, getting a lot of yards in that play. And we try to hit a Victor Cruz, but some pressure. Got Eli start a little bit off balance, but it's all good because David Wilson goes flying to get that one. Our small running back somehow gets that, but once we get to you know, the red zone area, complete bagdy. Nothing but. No one is rushing us. I'm sitting in the pocket for a solid 20 seconds, if not more, until I see Victor Cruz standing by himself in the end zone, and that's a touchdown. The closest guy to him was number 94, defensive end, so... I'll take that. I mean, why not? And um, this is an unranked game, but it's not a sub game. It's just a random game I played late one night. I got my Giants here. This my dude has Alfred Morris. And in the background, you can hear some people raging about Call of Duty. Nothing I can do about that. I had to deal with that while I was playing this game. And I had to deal with Alfred Morris, who was playing like a damn monster. He would like shake off every tackle and get extra yardage. I mean, I know the dude played kind of like that rough in real life, but I don't think he shakes off every single tackle he has. You know what I mean? But it's all good because third down and five we come all the way from one side of the field to cover that receiver and come up with the pick i don't know how i got that but i got that it's all good and we coming up with the pick early and with a seven nothing lead we're all good you know i'm not really in a rush i'm still running this five wide stuff kind of testing it out getting a nice play to randall here to rookie and the giants to the 50 and i'm kind of just testing a few plays from the five wide you can see one play where the tight end goes up and out i got randall on a dragger almost every single time and i reroute him here to get a few extra yards and it works out pretty good i'm not sure if i had a wide open or what but it's all good. I still don't have the reads down, Pat. Third down and six. We don't get it, but we do go for it on fourth down. And I kind of discovered something. Well, I didn't discover something. I tested something out. As you can see on that fourth down and six play, David Wilson ran a drag to the out to the outside or whatever. He did it again there, and you can see Akeem Nix run the out route, and because he runs that drag, it sucks down the purple. There again, someone else ran a drag, getting Cruz open on the curl route. You can see how that works. I don't explain it too much, but look at that catch by Akeem Nix in the back of the end zone. Does that stand though? Yes, it does. Such a tremendous catch. They weren't even sure. They were like, that's inhuman. There's no way that's a catch. But you know what, refs? It was a catch, and that's just what I do with the Giants, and I'm playing with these guys, I just throw it at the Hakeem Nix in the back of the end zone on face tricks, and he'll make some ridiculous catches. I think the Giants have maybe the best one-two punch of receivers in this game. And especially since they're not the fastest guys. I mean, Cruz has like 93 speed or something like that, or 92 speed. But still, though, I don't know. I just think they're just like one and two so good. Nix is just like a tough guy, you know what I mean? He's just built like a number one receiver. And then Cruz is the slot guy. It's all good. And look at that. Justin Tuck in the sack. Only 17 seconds to make something happen for my opponent. Down 14 nothing with one timeout. About to get sacked until he uses RG3's athletic ability to scramble and get to the 36. A.K.A. field goal range for four bat. And he ends up adding some insurance there by getting the out route. Which is all good with me. I mean, if he wants to get the out route, I'm playing the end zone. If he wants to get a few extra yards, that's cool. He can take his three points, and it's still a 3-14 game at the end of it. So he does get ball at halftime, trying to make some stuff happen with Brandon Banks. And then he goes back to running with Alfred Morris, and it was kind of hard to, you know, prepare one thing or the other because, you know, it was either he was going to run it, well, RG3 pass it or run him with more. So I had to keep up with all three of them. Until we started coming out in this oh new God, formation in the second half. He completely... The first one, I guess, since he only had three points with it, he dumped it. But I thought it was kind of an effective one. But he ended up going to this new formation, which ended up working in its own right. He's starting to slowly move the ball. Convert that third down and five. Bowie tries to lay out RG3, but apparently just put a soft hit on him. And then he goes over the top to Fred Davis. I don't know how he got beat by the tight end over the top, but... I don't know, Antro Road just didn't play it right. And he tries to go for two here, but does not get it. But still, he ends up making this a game again. 9-14, and now I'm back in offense. Tried to make some stuff happen here. Continue, no, just trying to find um, Randall on that drag route. Throwing a little face shoot to Hakeem Nix. This time, I could have thrown it, but I decided to test out this um, route to Dale Wilson to see what that was open to. And it was for a few yards, and that was a pick by the linebacker. But thankfully, he dropped it. And on third down and six, I don't know how Cruz got the first down, but I'll take it. As long as no one challenges it, it's a first down in the books right move the chains people move the chains we're about to end to the fourth quarter and we almost get the first down here instead of crucial fourth down and one comes up i go out and five wide and i find victor cruz on the drag for the first down 
and we continue to move the ball. We're in field goal range. A field goal makes it an eight-point game. Of course, you know, we're thinking end zone. We're not in a rush to get in the end zone, of course, right now, but we end up getting in next play anyways. Phase streak to Akeem Nicks, and that's a touchdown, and it's 9-21, and no, no matter what happens, especially if we... Um, force him to use up some time as he goes downfield. He's probably going to need an onside kick or some sort of defensive stop. So we keep that in mind. Uh, like I said, we just want to force him to burn clock right now. Instead, he ends up going over the top. Corey Webster gets burned by Santana Moss, who falls down. Or else that would have been a touchdown. And now at 2.30 left, he's at the goal line. And he ends up just scrambling in with RG3, getting the touchdown. And he decides he's not kicking it deep. He wants the onside. He wants the ball now. But... He does get the ball now with 226 left. It's only a five point game. A touchdown straight up lets him take the lead. So he isn't exactly in a rush as the two minute warning hits. He just he knows he has to get in the end zone. That's about it. And I know the same thing. And now look at this play. Look at Hulu breaking a tackle, getting to the 39 yard line. Next play, he takes a deep shot for the lead to Santana Moss, but instead finds Corey Webster who comes up with the huge. Huge pick with a minute 21 left at the two yard line. We don't want to get a safety, so we put we play it safe. We throw a nice little wheel route to Ahmad Bradshaw, who gets it to the six yard line. Now we got some breathing room, and he tries to call his timeouts to preserve the clock, but we end up getting the first down in the next play, and that effectively ends this game because no matter what, he only has two timeouts, and there's not enough clock for him to get the ball back. So we're just going to run the ball and kill the clock out, and thankfully come out with the win. As you can see, he calls his last timeout here, and I just run the ball. I couldn't kneel the ball. I don't know. I just felt like Run it, but it's all good. Can we come out with the win? So, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more Man 13 online videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.